Hey there guys, Lee here, welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be adding some additional call-in to one of our recent builds. Uh, the build is the uh, Twin 280X build which we used for mining Ethereum. Uh, once we actually fitted the uh, cards in there we thought potentially that um, it might be overheating and um, that's actually the reality of it. So for the past few days I've been actually running it with the actual case off which isn't um, ideal. Uh, We've got kind of a, a weird sort of um, setup here whereby I need to actually keep everything cased where normally um, if you're building these kind of rigs two or more cars you would normally have them on a, a uh, you know an external kind of rig which would help massively with the cooling but in this particular case I've got to keep it um, in, a, in a standard uh, PC case. Um, the case is also a like a, a MIDI case so it doesn't have a great you know, volume of space inside as well, so that's um, ex exacerbating the actual issue. Um, but what I've done is I've purchased um, four 120mm uh, high-performance fans, and I'm hoping them those fans in combination will um, get enough airflow uh, through through the actual case to um, reduce the actual uh, heating issues. Okay, so this is the machine that we're actually going to be working on. You can see the uh, power supply in the bottom left-hand corner, and then the two uh, two AEXs right in the middle. Um, and that's what's causing us our overheating issues, so we need to um, address that. Okay, so these are the fans that I've gone for. They're just some uh, cheap fans that I actually picked up from uh, eBay. They worked out about three and a half pound each, something like that. I think I got a discount because I purchased um, four of them. And they are just these um, Arctic F12s. Um, they're really um, basic budget type ones. The ones that I went for is the G. Uh, just the ones with the uh, free pin connector. Um, I was going to get the uh, PWM ones, but I thought the the fan speed is probably going to need to be fairly constant anyway, particularly on the side case. So I didn't want the fan um, RPM kind of going up and down, up and down all the time. I'd rather it just a constant speed. Um, and I think I'm going to move this machine actually to a different location as well. Um, so I think the noise consideration is going to be something that we will have to deal with. So the actual um, specs on the fan. So it's a 120 mil fan. Uh, the RPM is 1350, uh, the airflow is uh, 74 CFM, um, and then I thought there was somewhere on there it actually said the, um, the noise, I thought I read that somewhere, but it's not on the actual box in itself, which means it's probably going to be very loud. Um, let's uh, open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so it just comes with your standard fan case screws and here's the actual fan itself try and get that in a bit better light just a white blade um, and a plastic fan housing you can kind of feel and by the look of it it's not it's not terrible quality but it kind of feels I don't know sort of very light it's, I don't know what this plastic is whether it's a new different type but yeah it feels very light and also the blades feel difficult to kind of describe but it's almost it feels yeah like a little bit cheap plastic but then it is you know it's like a three pound part so I'm not expecting miracles um, so yeah just on the uh, back side there yeah that's it three pin connector that's gonna do us um, hopefully great okay so I've just got the uh, PC just down on the uh, desk now uh, you can see we've already got a 120 mil fan at the back but I think I'm gonna swap that out for one of the new ones just because I think this is like more of a quiet edition uh, fan and I think we really want to go more performance and just get maximum airflow even at the sacrifice of the uh, noise levels so I'm going to probably swap that one out uh, just looking I have need to do something because I've got um, you can see there's two fan connectors down here and then I've got a third one over here um, and I've got four fans uh, well four new fans um, so I'm going to need to get like a Molex connector from somewhere so in this video I'm probably only going to be fitting uh, three of the fans today or I might fit the full four but then only three of them will actually be running. Um, so the towards the front of the case I've got space there for uh, one fan so that can go so what I think I'll probably have is this as a inlet fan to draw air through, um, this and then this one as outlet um, and then on the actual side of the case it's already got two um, grill cut outs uh, you can sort of see that here and here and um, yeah so I'm thinking to have these two as outlets as well um, I think it might take a little bit of a recon configuration and jigging maybe to get the perfect sort of um, airflow but I think that will work well uh, because when you have your hands on the side of these obviously they're pulling air through um, sort of this way 
and then the air is coming um, out of the actual like you know more towards the camera uh, from the actual uh, heat sinks itself so I think if I have um, you know the exhaust coming directly out the side of the case I think that should help keep them cool um, yeah so there'll be you know airflow from the front onto the cards um, it can escape over the back and into yeah exhaust here um, and I think that should do as well um, at the front where the actual sort of CD ROM bays um, it's plated but I might remove those plates as well and then it's just a grill mesh grill on the other side of it so if I take those out it should help with the uh, the overall um, airflow so that's what I'm going to work on and we'll see how we go Okay guys, so that's the uh, fan insulation finished. So we've got the uh, two fans on the side of the case. I've just um, taped the uh, connector to this one, just to the case, because um, I'll leave that disconnected temporarily until I get that um, power, power supply connector. So this one is uh, going obviously to the uh, motherboard fan connector. It's got quite a long cable, fortunately. A lot of the time they have much short cables, but so that's, uh, that's a bonus. Uh, replace the, uh, the 120 mil at the back there. Um, goes to the motherboard as normal and then we've got one on the front and then what I did is I removed those blanking plates on the inside of the uh, <laughs> try and get in there on the inside of the actual uh, bay there at the top so we've got three fans and hopefully that will, will do it and um, I'll give it a power up now and then we'll see how we get on okay so I'm just actually down on the floor now just uh, give it a first uh, power on um, so that's the rear fan got the case fan on there and then we've got the front fan so I just want to make sure those all rotating um, as they should be okay so I've just booted into Windows and started the machine up normally um, we've got the uh, Blago miner and the EF miner running in the bottom right hand corner uh, the temperatures have just started to pick up slightly but at the moment they're kind of holding okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let the machine run for about 10 minutes and then I'll come back and we'll see uh, how we're doing from there Okay, we've been running for a couple of minutes now and the uh, temperature is uh, leveled out. So it's, um, it's certainly looking better. Uh, the GPU one uh, is running at about 80 degrees, which is still pretty, uh, pretty damn hot. And the GPU two is running up to about 70 degrees. So that's quite hot as well. So I think when we actually add that uh, full fan, I think we should be in a much better position. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Uh, once again, uh, Hopefully you found it uh, interesting, informative, or entertaining. Um, if it was none of those and um, you really didn't like it, then just let me know why. Let me know what you'd like to see in these videos. Uh, you know, what parts are really uh, interesting for you and what parts you'd like to see more of, less of. Um, I really appreciate your feedback and comments um, as always. Um, I do make an effort to read the comments and I do uh, try to uh, interact with people, uh, answer questions, comments, and that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, I like the feedback. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next one next time. Take care.